This YCN segment is brought to you by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist. Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk. One final segment, Jeremy Stell, Rob Taylor. We'll get to some World Cup. Obviously, that's underway. And Rob, just your initial thoughts and maybe a prediction or two. What do you got? Well, uh, let's see. Some I'm, interesting uh, game so far. I'm betting on the Russians as the home team. I don't know. 2-0 <laughs> oh so far. I don't know whether Putin's got some stuff going on behind the scenes <laughs> or what, but uh, they certainly, uh, you know, they're playing lights out yeah, uh, they are. as the home team, and that's kind of a compelling story for them. Um, I'm still, you know, I'm going with some traditional yeah. uh, teams that will probably be in the mix. Uh, but, you know, if I'm, if I'm talking about some sleepers, Belgium, Portugal. Yep. But, uh, you know, teams of Brazil and Germany and Argentina are probably more likely to be there. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's compelling. It's the one time every, what, four years that the Americans actually start to get a little bit interested in soccer. Right. But, but not but, as much this year, obviously, because, because the U.S. No is not in the tournament. But as we alluded to earlier, they do get the uh, bid for the 2026 World Cup. They'll be splitting it with Canada in Mexico, but the, most of the games will be in the U.S. The championship game will be in New York. Uh, 48 teams, so the U.S. will get in there. So maybe by that point, uh, whatever, eight years from now, maybe they'll be a little bit better. Maybe they'll be back in it. I know that this year, this, this World Cup, it was sort of a perfect storm of, uh, of, of ways that they wouldn't right. get to the tournament. And yes. so like three or four things had to happen. happen. Yep. That, that all conspired, and, and they did not make the, the cut this year. So. Right. But still, I mean, if you're a soccer fan or even a casual fan, there's still some good good games, as you mentioned, Brazil, Germany, Argentina, Portugal, with a good start to the, seri to the season of the, of the World Cup round, uh, the first round, and, and Russia. 2-0, and looks like they'll get on to the knockout stage. So this thing goes until mid-July, so we'll be talking about that every week. It's time for the Salt Hill Pub Picks of the Week. Salt Hill Pub, honest food, perfect pints, live music, now here to serve you in five locations. All right, here we are with our picks, and we're going to modify them again this week. We're going to do our top five untouchable Celtic players. So what that means is, Rob, who do we least want traded? And we'll start with number five and then go up to number one, who we think won't be or will be the most untouchable. So we got number five. So let's see. I'm going to start with Kyrie. Um, it's kind of unbelievable. He was just signed. Not even, it hasn't even been a year since right. we signed him. We're already talking about him walking out the door. So unfortunately, that's right. the reality <laughs> of the NBA. Right that's there. where we start. My number five pick is Al Horford. Obviously, don't think he should be traded. Don't want him to be traded. But he could be traded if the pieces fall. Who do you have as number four? Number four, I'm going Brown. Uh, we'll keep it at that. You go ahead. Yeah, I got actually the same <laughs> thing. I got uh, Jalen Brown as number four. He's been one of those guys who he's young, he's good, but they got some better players, so I think he could be in the mix of some trade talk, but I hope he doesn't. He is young enough. So your number three untouchable player. Who I'm you got? going Tatum. Let's see. Yeah, Tatum is uh, on... Uh, on a, for us for at least a guaranteed 12 min, million. He's a first round draft pick. Right. So I think he's around for at least a little while. Yeah, I would hope so. And my number three is Kyrie Irving. Uh, I know there's been a lot of trade talk and a lot of chatter, but I think having him here at least one full year and see what he can do, especially with Hayward back in the mix, I think they'll have a good run, so I would not trade Hay uh, Irving. He's my number three. Who you got number two? Number two is Al Horford. Uh, guaranteed he's going to make $56 million for us. So he's kind of a long-term prospect for right. us as well. I think he's going to be around for a little while longer. As, as yeah, well. I agree. My number two pick, though, is Gordon Hayward. you got to get him at least one year. He was injured in the first five minutes of the of his season. So you got to keep him around for at least one year, see what you got with him. He's my number two. Who you got number one? He's my number one. Uh, let's see, where is he? He's right there. <laughs> So, uh, same kind of thing. I mean, it was such a shame to see him go down in the first game of the season. Right. And he's guaranteed $93 million from they're not us. Trading. So, they're not going <laughs> to trade him, I don't think. And my number one is obviously somebody you had. It's Jason Tatum. He's at the top. He's just got so much talent, and he's got so much potential. He's my number one pick. Thanks to Rob Taylor from the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce, and thanks for watching YCN Sports Talk.